Is your vitamin D supplement causing anxiety? Here's five signs that you might be overdosing. Number one is anxiety, like feeling wired and tired or waking up too early. Number two is brain fog, like slow thinking or poor memory. Number three is frequent urination, especially at nighttime. Four is muscle weakness, soreness, achiness, stiffness. And then five is constipation, often with bloating or gas. The problem is that people taking more than several thousand units per day are at a risk for getting excess, and some can get that. And here's how that happens. Many good published studies show that healthy vitamin D correlates with good things, less autoimmunity, less inflammation, less mortality. And a lot of these papers said that blood levels of 80 to 130 nanomoles per liter are the best. Everyone agrees there. Here's the problem. Those papers are written in international units. Think about metrics. In the US, our blood tests are standard units. Think about miles. Once you convert this over, the best blood levels for US tests, which are nanograms per mil, is more like 35 to 55. It's a lot lower. This is bizarre, but many health experts have not made that conversion from international units to US units. When I formulated thyroid daily, I chose to use a thousand IUs of D3 along with K2 for good vitamin D3 metabolism. Some adults need more than that, not many do, and too much can cause as many problems as too little can. Natural treatments really are the best, but the details matter. Follow this channel for more insights like this that you probably won't hear elsewhere.